aspas. Do we dare call it tea day? Ah, uh, well, I, I'll I'll embrace that. I'll embrace tea day as a, a Friday tea day. Oh, oh, oh! But you're probably meaning Taylor, not Tony. Well, we can go with that too. Okay. We can just pick another day to be tea day for Tony. Yeah, uh, uh, Taylor. If you haven't heard, there's this yeah. album that is out today. Oh yes, yeah, the new Taylor Swift album dropped at midnight last night. I've I woke up to go to the bathroom at 3 a.m. and I swear I listened to like the first three tracks. Okay. I put my earbuds in, listened to like three okay. tracks. Listened to a couple more on the way in the, in the work this morning. Okay. And then we're going to listen to some more during the show today. Okay. We'll play some. Okay. I have not heard anything yet, so... I'll, I'll, I'm going to, you know, usually I need to listen to an album a couple times before I can give so a true... 100% where I'm opinion at. ...opinion on it. But be listening as we uh, kind of have some uh, fun with the new Taylor Swift album this morning, playing new tracks from it, plus uh, our terrible... Uh, poets department this morning where Nick and I will will be the terrible poet yes in chief yes. Tony or I yes <laughs> what uh, is it called when like the, the the official poet of is that's a thing the poet laureate isn't ah, that a thing yes poet laureates right. yes we're gonna be poet laureates of the terrible of the poets twin ports, department the, of the twin ports this morning as we write terrible poems all right well, also, by the way, beside being, I guess, wall-to-wall Taylor, have a chance to win some money. Our 30 grand in your hand giveaway continues uh, 8 o'clock hour this morning. And some other fun. I, I'm going to save this for a little bit later, but we have some non-Taylor music news. Uh, big boy band potential news. Oh, I like I like boy band news. Yeah, well, we're not going to be, you know. Not, all, we're not all Taylor all yeah, the time. I don't want to freak people out no, that, you no, know, no, no. for the non-Taylor people. No. The few of them. So, like my son. <laughs> Well, that's something for everybody, as we always yeah. do. Mix 108, good morning. It's the Morning Brew. It's Tony and Nick. It's time to play Song in 60. I got a song in my head, and I'm going to give some clues to said song, and we'll see if you can guess it along with Nick. And if you do, well, good on you. You get you win the Friday edition of Song in 60. I dare you to beat me. <laughs> see if you can wow. beat me to the answer. Oh, okay. Challenge is out there. This is okay. This okay. Here we go. You ready? Yes. I'm trying to come up with clues in my head. Is. Okay. Here we on go. On the fly. All right. On the fly. Here we go. Three, two, one. Song and sixty starts right now. Um, only murderers in the building. Oh, Selena Gomez. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. good. Okay. Got that out of the way. <laughs> Figured that'd be easy. Um, since Steve Martin doesn't have a hit album that yeah, we play. No. Um, um, not new, but. Not uh, new, but old. I'm, um, I, I'm the nice hint there, Tony. I'm, um, <laughs> uh, not hate, but, uh, oh, same old love. Yeah. Woo! Same old love is the song I'm looking for. Very good. Yeah, it's Nina Gomez. Same old love. Great job, Nick. Hey, Way to go. You. Way to Tony. Just nail this every time. Uh, it is your song in 60 today on this Friday. Taylor's friend, Selena Gomez. Mix What Away Morning Brew on a Friday morning. Taylor Swift there. And, of course, new album is out today. I have not heard any of it yet. Tony said he's sampled a little bit of it. I've Yeah, I've listened to Dabbled. a few tracks. Uh, like I said, I got up at, like, 3 a.m. to go to the bathroom, and I'm like, well, I might as well, while I'm up, listen to a few <laughs> tracks. So someone who's heard probably the whole album at least a couple times now is uh, her significant other, Travis Kelsey. So uh, the folks with Page Six say they've got a source who allegedly knows what Travis Kelsey's favorite songs on the album are. Right. The track list, of course, has been out for weeks now. Yep. And um, he's apparently likes two particular songs. Yeah. Two particular songs. So those two songs are from the Tortured Poets Department. Uh, down bad. Okay, and L O M L Lomel. I, mean, I think that, well, that's an abbreviation. It's an abbreviation yeah. for um, I, what does it stand for? I don't remember. La, um, um, we're sounding love real, of my life. Oh, right, so we're sounding or real loss old. of my life. So, yes. So people are speculating that this might this might be the song a love song about. Travis, so maybe that's why he likes it. Of course he would. Yeah, another meaning apparently. Soulmate. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, definitely. What a web search suggests. So yeah, those make sense. Um, I was... The the two songs that stand out to me, because they're they're different than the rest of them, are the collaborations. I'm curious to hear those, because there was one with Florence the Machine, mm -hmm. and there's one with Posty. 
Mm -hmm. The posty one's pretty good. Okay. Okay. So that's that's good news because those are the ones that like I love colla a good collaboration. Any you right. know good collaboration with any mar musicians, especially the ones that kind of push the boundaries a little bit. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know that it up. pushes the boundaries well, much, but not to say those do, but the ones the ones that do are fun. I mean, fun. we could play it. We could play it. Let's we should play it. Oh, you think so? Maybe, yeah. Maybe in a couple minutes we'll play that song. Okay. All right, well, we'll, we'll play we'll the new post in Taylor okay. Swift. Uh, perfect. Maybe well, that'll be the first one we play this morning. Wow. Which by the way, so we're not going wall to wall, Taylor, but we're gonna be playing some Taylor Swift through the course of the day. Um Yes, um starting at um nine o'clock this morning, every thirteenth of the hour. Okay. Okay, every every so 9:13, right? 10:13, 11:13. Listen in for new tracks from the new album. So, we'll okay. play a new track every hour from the new album. Today and all weekend long on the 13s, Taylor on the 13s. Of course, you know, a number that has some meaning to Taylor. And you can win um a, a special limited edition vinyl of nice. the new album on the website. So go to mix108.com or the mix108 app and you can win um, enter to win that vinyl right oh, now. One other thing is that uh, we've got our 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 uh, terrible poets department. We're gonna be diving into this yeah, morning I got too. A few, I got a few gems ready to roll, man. You're gonna love. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love the one I did about fried chicken. Oh. I'm not going to share any of the details behind it. I, I'm going to I'm going to give you a little tease. I did it in the style of Dr. Seuss. Oh, you did do one. Yep. Okay. Dr. Seuss uh, style poem about fried chicken. Nice. It's very nice. It's a great piece of work. I feel like I need to change up. I need I need to go like Robert Frost on one of mine now. I just to like go wow. totally d different. I I am kind of working one that's a little bit kind of um Shakespearean, if you oh. will, with you know the big you know thou shalt, you, oh, know, the, the, uh, you know those type of the, words, the, the, the classic. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll we'll do that later on this morning. Uh, first, Nick's nonsense on the way here in a matter of minutes. Uh, that's coming up here a little bit on Mix It Away. Good morning. Mix What Away Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Friday. Nick's nonsense this morning. Heads up any um, criminals out there, potential criminals. If you happen to find yourself behind the wheel of a stolen vehicle, there's certain things you probably should not do. Okay. Uh, this is just one example. Denver area, Colorado. Um, there was somebody who was driving a stolen vehicle as a part of a uh, delivery service. So that's not what it is. So here's the story. Someone had a food order that they had ordered through a delivery service, did uh -huh. not get it, and uh, the Boulder police had to explain why, um, saying, your delivery driver is on their way to jail. Oops. <laughs> So police say that they uh, ended up catching a delivery driver wanted for arrest. The reason they caught the individual is because the driver asked a couple police officers for directions while driving the stolen vehicle. <laughs> you don't want to do that. No, that's a that's a bad look. Yeah, so uh, um, it's it might seem like an unlikely story, but it did indeed happen in Colorado. It happened over the weekend. According to the Boulder police, two officers, were they spotted a stolen car. Uh, thanks to a flock camera system and began following the driver in an unmarked police car. Police said the driver actually called out to the officer saying, hey, looking for some directions. Yeah, they're like, we'll give you directions to jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was actually, the, this driver was actually doing a, le a legit food delivery order, was looking for directions to make the delivery. Oh Instead of getting a tip on how to get to where they were going, the driver was placed in handcuffs. And the police, the police took the driver, and they had a passenger with them, both into custody. <laughs> Man, my food. Oh, yeah, no kidding. You didn't get your order. The female passenger had two prior motor vehicle theft convictions oh. riding around in the vehicle, uh, as well as some other outstanding warrants for drugs and things like that. Not a good situation. So the passenger was arrested on charges of unlawful possession of drugs and uh, also involved in the in the vehicle theft. The Police also found drugs in the vehicle, so not a good situation. But again, you will probably want to be a little bit more inconspicuous if you're driving a stolen vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to like draw the police's attention to you. That's yeah, for sure. well, and bold move to be like, "Hey, cops!" Yeah. Question for you: How do I get to 123 trying Star to bring, Street? Yeah, trying to bring this turkey sub over to. <laughs> uh, anyway, I. 
it's a good thing that there are some criminals as as dumb as they are because there's a lot of cops that their jobs get really easy when stuff right. like that happens. Yeah, the reason why they're criminals, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. And there's Nick's nonsense for this morning. We'll see what's trending at the top in a couple minutes here and mix it away. Good morning. <laughs> Live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth. This is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a Tom Square Media Station. Well, good morning and happy Friday. Scattered snow, uh, snow showers possible through the day today. It is uh, 31 degrees right now. Downtown Duluth at the Mix 108 Studios radar is showing some snow flurries making their way through the region. So you might see. So I saw some snow flurries last night too. You did. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was out uh, having a having a beer with some. Some friends and some lads looked out the window and I'm like, that's snowflakes and somebody's (laughs) snowing out there, lads, today. (laughs) So more of that today. But we do uh, see some of after today, we'll get through a high of around 42 in the snow chances. Uh, Tomorrow, 47, partly sunny, breezy. Sunday, sunny, breezy, 56. Uh, Next week, we'll start off around 60, but some rain and snow chances as we see temperatures up and down next week, too. So April in the Northland, Tony. Well, that's, you know, as as a famous um, musician once said for Minnesota, sometimes it snows in April. Sometimes it does. You're yeah. not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Um, let's see. In other news this morning, let's see. Target is bracing pickleball. Did you see this? Um, Target has unleashed a brand new line of pickleball clothing and accessories. Huh. 80 different items in all. Jeez. Um, start at nine ninety nine, go up to about 50 bucks. But whether you're looking to try to get into pickleball for the first time or maybe you're an experienced pickleball player, Target sees you, I guess. So this, they're jumping on the trend. This was a big thing for the last year, couple years, but is it still at that level or has it come down a little bit? Like no, is Target late to the game or? Pickleball is still gaining gaining in popularity. Okay. Uh, increasing in participation by nearly 40% in the last two years. So wow. it's still gaining steam. Okay. And it's the fastest growing sport in America, in America with 35 million Americans wow. that play pickleball regularly. I've never played it. I'd like to play it. It looks like a fun game. Well, so we'll have well, to, we have some pickle- We'll have to use our new pickleball yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. equipment that we yeah, were yeah. given. But I'd like to play the game. I know there's sure. a few places in town you can play, yeah. right? That's the thing is I don't know where. Right? Yeah, I, don't, I guess I don't. Call us up and let us know like where if you play pickleball, where you play pickleball, and can we come play with you? Right. 7402-MIX or hit up the Mix 108 app and use the open mic and tell us about uh, where you play pickleball in the Twin Ports. So I, I don't uh, know where you would Yeah, I, I have no idea. So, yeah, let, let us let us in on the hint so we can check it out. Uh, later on this morning, it's a, obviously, it's, you know, big Taylor Swift day today. But I've It got is? Some, if you haven't heard. Uh, I've, I've got some big uh, boy band news as well. So for the boy band lovers. I, the, the, oh, oh, we can love Taylor and boy bands. Yeah. So I'm not saying it has to be one or the other. Okay. But I've got some news for you later on this it morning. It better have an end in its name or I'm not going to be happy about the story. Um, Not that boy band. Maybe you don't. We'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> Such Plus, a tease. more uh, opportunities to win money. We kick off the thirty grand your head giveaway uh, again for the day. That's coming up a little under an hour from now. You're in Mix It Away. Good morning. Mix What Away Morning Brew. Good morning. Happy Friday. All right. So, Fortnite, Taylor Swift, Post Malone, the, like you said, the first song off of Surprise, a double album. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I knew there was something up. Anyways, Uh yep, so uh, Taylor Swift's The Tortured Poets Department is out today, and apparently it's a double album, so there's 31 new Taylor Swift tracks, and we'll be uh, featuring a bunch of the new tracks today, starting at 9 a.m. Listen every hour on the 13th, so yes, um, Taylor on the 13th, so new Taylor tracks every hour, 13 past today and and through the weekend, so be listening. Did get a message about how to win a uh, the Taylor Swift album? Somebody had heard. There was some. Are you giving something away? We got details on our website about that. Yeah, we do have uh, Taylor's vinyl. Well, at least the first half of the album <laughs> to give away. I don't know about the second half of the album, but if you want a chance to win um, the new Tortured Poets Department on vinyl, you can go to the Mix One Hundred Eight app or Mix One Hundred Eight dot com. And enter to win. And we'll play a few more tracks before the morning show's done from the uh, new album. I'm busy combing the lyrics for Shade. And there, uh, there's yeah. a good 
Um, there's a track called. Um, there's a track called. Um, hold up. It's called. Um, ah, it's oh yeah, that one. <laughs> I love oh, that it's called, one. Oh, it's called Thank You, Amy. It's called Thank You, Amy. Oh. And uh, there's no doubt that it's aimed right square towards uh, Kim Kardashian. Wow. Yeah. The wow. Kim Kardashian uh, shade track is officially out now. Interesting. All so right. Kanye got a got a song of Taylor's that he can finally like they're, get behind. They're mending that, that bridge. That, yeah. Kanye's calling up and saying, I like that song. That's a good song. <laughs> So there's a but I don't think we'll be playing that one this morning though because I don't know that we have the edited version. Oh uh, well, that that would uh, probably be preventative. But, yeah, you know, uh, stick around. We'll be playing some more tracks All off right. that this morning, and I know that we have some poetry to do as we well do. this morning. I know we have a couple of subjects to work on. I have already completed one on fried chicken. Nice. I got a couple emails that were um, Minnesota themed. Okay, so we're going to do two a piece, I think. Yeah, okay. I've already finished one. I need, I need one more topic, though. Okay. So if somebody's got a topic, we're going to do the terrible poets department this morning. So I got one poem already done. Nick's working on a couple. Yep. Do you need another topic? I'll take any inspiration because okay. I don't know. Like, what yeah. I have, I thank the people that sent me the ideas, but I'll take other ideas okay, just in so case. If you got a fun idea of a poem that you would like to hear Nick and I write as we celebrate... Uh, the, the tortured poets department with right. our own terrible port poets <laughs> department. Seven four zero two mix, and you just give us anything, any topic, and we'll uh, see. Yeah. We'll see what we can do to write a poem. We'll take some ideas here in the next few minutes before we go back to the lab and continue writing our poems. Yes, indeed. So yeah, let us know. Hit us up our mobile app. Give us a call. Uh, and and to to clarify, so any. Anything you know, if it's a ice cream topping, a person, a oh, I, landmark, I don't, care. Uh, I don't care. I just did a yeah, whatever. I did a Dr. Seuss poem about fried chicken. So I'm really intrigued by this. Uh, and then you know, also if you've got a style you would like to hear yeah. the poem in, who's that? Who's that? I was a kid when I was a kid. There was a po- there was a, po- a Sheldon or something. Uh, there's a poet. I always had like the big books, mm. um, kind of like white covers with like uh, drawings on the front. I don't know. They were all poetry, I believe, like, okay. just, like short poems. Sheldon, I don't know. If somebody knows that, you need to call me up because it's been driving me crazy all morning. <laughs> 7402 mix. There was, there's like a, a, I would say like a kid's poet, kind of like a Dr. Okay. Seuss, but not really. Hmm. Kind of shorter I'm, poems. I'm blanking on that. Sheldon or Shelley or I don't even remember. It's driving me crazy, though. Help us out. Nothing? No. You I can't even... think. Not, not even registering. Okay. So, sorry. 7402 mix. Am I crazy or can you help me out on this? I'm probably crazy. That could be. <laughs> mix. What are we boarding? Brew. Good morning. Happy Friday. Nick Cooper. Tony Hart with you. And, uh... Tony decided we were going to do some poetry today. Oh, I like how you just put this on me. <laughs> You're part of this show, too. You're 50% of the show. I am. You're not you wrong. Could have, you could have uh, vetoed it. I, I didn't feel that strongly about vetoing it. No, no, because you like, you, like, you like poetry. You wanted yeah, to do I, it. I, I'm, a, I'm a deeply poetic and artistic person. What can I say? Mm-hmm. So we uh, asked for some inspiration. And got got some feedback from people. Got a couple messages on Facebook. I got a, actually some text messages from friends of mine who gave ideas. A couple emails. Um, so we've got we've got some. We could do more through the morning too if people give us some I more have, inspiration. I but. have three ready to go. Okay, I've, I've done three. I've done one to fried chicken. One about fried chicken in the in the voice of Doctor Seuss. Okay, I've done a. Poem about the lift bridge. No, nice. Okay. In the voice of William Shakespeare. Wow. And then I also wrote a phony, funny poem about riding a donkey in downtown Duluth. <laughs> okay. So I, um, I donkey riding in downtown Duluth. All right, then. I, I have two. Um, a third one I'm working on, but I have, I have, one, I have a hot dish haiku. Ooh, a hot dish haiku. I like that. And then yes. I have a poem about the Vikings. Oh, that's so, that's a You probably know where that's going. Yeah, that's that's going to be depressing, I'm sure. Well, the poem is called what? Wide Left? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Well, would you like to lead off? Oh, do you want sir? me to go? Do you yeah. want me to, how about I do my one about fried chicken? Okay. Since that's the one I've been talking about the most. It's called... Fried chicken. Ode to fry. How about ode to fried oh, chicken? I like it. <clears throat> In a kitchen so bright, 
with a sizzle and pop, fried chicken was born with a flippity flop. The oil went splish and the batter went splat, creating a dish that was yummy like that. With skin like the sun, all crispy and gold, a flavor so tasty, both tender and bold, the smell filled the house from the attic to the floor, and tummies all rumbled. They wanted some more. With biscuits so fluffy and gravy so thick, you gobble it down with a slurp and a lick. A crunch and a munch. What a wonderful treat. Fried chicken so yummy. You just can't be beat. So whether you like it with waffles so sweet or on its own, it's a joyful retreat. Fried chicken, oh goodness, it fills you with glee. The tastiest bird from the land to the sea. Very nice. Thank you very much, everybody. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. You uh, you went a lot harder than I did on mine. Mine are shorter. Um, <laughs> well, haikus are meant to be short. Well, that, the haiku, yeah, definitely is short. Um, Sorry, I, I go, you know, I go hard in the paint. You do. You know, I'll, I'll give you my hot dish haiku. Okay, yes, hot dish haiku on a terrible poet's department Friday. Here we go. Cheesy tatered love. <laughs> Meat and veg in creamy bliss. Warmth in every bite. My hot dish haiku. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That, that, they're short. That's it. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> Did you want a double haiku? Yeah. Well, yeah, like the like the Taylor album. Yeah, I need a double. Like... I need a double. No, that was good. Nick, good job. Hey, thank yeah. you. That's good. Oh, we can't clap loud. We can't. Oh. Good job. Golf clap. Yes. Poetry clap. Very good job. Um, if you got, I I might have another poem left in me if somebody's got an idea, but I'm still putting the finishing touches on my donkey riding a downtown Duluth poem. <laughs> Yeah, hit us up with an inspiration. We've, we, we'd, we'd be willing to do another one or two. I've got, I've got one in my holster about the Vikings, but... You know. Well, let's do that one in a couple minutes. Okay. I'll do my Duluth lift bridge in the form of Shakespeare. That's and then you do your, um, your one, your Vikings right. one. I Sounds can't wait good. to hear your Vikings one. Well, we'll get to that here soon. Okay. Also remember a chance to win some money. 30 grand in your hand continues. Coming up, 8 o'clock this morning, right here on Mix What Away. Good morning and happy Friday. Mix. What a way morning, Brew. Good morning and happy Friday. So as we allow our, our creative brains to just rest a little bit, because we've got some more inspiration. We just oh my played gosh. a phone call. <laughs> we got a, we we got too much both, going on. Yeah. We got the same prompt we need to write on here, so we're going to keep working on that. We're both um, just quiet, just typing away in the studio, so, yeah, putting our notes down. So <laughs> I wanted to, to shift gears a little bit and let you know that, uh, Tony, there are two, um, there's a northern Minnesota and a northern Wisconsin small town festival that are up to win a hundred thousand dollar cash prize. Oh, that's cool. for the festival, which is really neat. So, um, the the gas chain Cinex is uh, doing this thing called Hometown Throwdown, and they got hundreds of submissions from the country for giving a, a cash prize for funding for these community festivals. And they narrowed it down to three. There's one in Missouri, and then there's one in Roseau, Minnesota, and there's one in Hayward, Wisconsin. That's cool. Yeah. What are the festivals? So the one in, in Missouri is some soybean festival. We don't care about that. It's in Missouri. Uh, <laughs> so the one in Roseau, they have a fall harvest festival that happens in the fall every year. Kind of a neat deal. And then the other one, the one in Hayward, is their musky festival, which happens this oh, summer. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And so they're, the reason that I bring this up, besides it saying, oh, that's cool, is because they're looking for people to vote. So the winner gets, of all the votes... Uh, cast gets the hundred thousand dollars to put toward you know their event. That's nice. That, that's, that's a, a big lot of chunk money. of money. Hundred thousand dollars. Really However, step up your event game. Yeah, no kidding. Um, the other two will get a twenty five thousand dollar cash prize. So the other they, bad. like they're getting something out of it be, for being a finalist. But yeah, uh, for a small event like that, absolutely. It's a big, win. It's a big so, dub. Yeah, if you want to check it out and uh, find out a place of vote, you got the details on the mix mobile app or mix dot com. But um, yeah, kind of like it's neat because a lot of those festivals, like it takes a lot of work to put them together and, you know, get the budgets put together. A lot of, you know, businesses and community members coming together to make them happen every year. And so, yeah, an influx of uh, money coming in like that would be huge. So go make it happen. You can uh, learn more about the events and cast your vote. Get the link on the Mixed Mobile app at mixitaway.com. We're going to uh, see what's trending at the top in a couple of minutes. Get you another code. The first of today in the 30 grand in your hand giveaway. And more poems on the way. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll play a couple more tracks from Taylor's new album. So yeah. stick around for that. All right. That's all coming up next hour here in Mixed Good morning. Cool. Live from-
live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth. This is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. 33 degrees downtown Duluth at the Mix 108 studios with some snow flurries moving across the region, a high of only 42 today. So we see those flurries flying around through the day and into this evening, but then we will see some sun cloud mix tomorrow. Breezy 47, Sunday, sunny, breezy 56. We'll start off the day on Monday, mostly sunny, breezy 57, but rain comes into the picture later in the day and then cooling off again into the 40s for Tuesday. So up and down, rain and snow, a little bit of everything here this April. Wonderful. Yep. Great. Um, stick around. We got more tracks from uh, Taylor's new album, The Tortured Poets Department. Coming up. Plus, we got our own poetry on the we way. We do. Uh, we've, uh, I've got a couple poems ready. Nick has got a couple poems ready as we do our version of the po- Poets Department. The so terrible is, Poets Department. This is Tony and Nick's version? Yeah, this is our version. <laughs> Not a double album. <laughs> no, no. In case you didn't hear, uh, uh, overnight Taylor announced that the Tortured Poets Department is a double album. Yeah. Surprise. So, another... So we got 31 new tailored songs yes. to play with this morning. Lots to play. Of excited. So, yeah. was, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, we're going to be playing songs from the album through the day today. And, of course, there's a chance to win an al- the album on our website. Got details about that. But first, speaking of winning, a chance to win some money. 30 grand in your hand. Code to kick off the day. First one of the day is 462. 462. Head to our mobile app or our website and enter the code 462 for a chance to win. And Tony, want to play another one of the songs from the album? Yeah, this one is her collaboration with uh, uh, Florence and the Machine. This one is called Florida. Okay. New Taylor Swift track from the Tortured Poets Department here on the Morning Brew on Mix 108. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Friday. Nick Cooper, Tony Hart, the uh, Terrible Poets Department. Welcome to the Terrible Poets Department this morning. Yes. Where we will delight you with poetry like you've never heard before. Quite. Now I call this Duluth Steel Colossus. Upon the shore where waters cold reside, a steel colossus stands with noble pride. The Duluth Bridge, a marvel to behold, its form against the skyline, stark and bold. Wow. With gears and cables mighty in their might, it lifts its span a beacon in the night, a gate that opens wide with steady grace for ships that seek a safe and sheltered space. Its towers rise like sentinels of old guardians of the harbor, Stories untold of vessels passing neath its lifted form and weathered sailors braving wind and storm. Oh, wondrous bridge, a sight that doth inspire. Thy strength and beauty set the heart afire, a testament to human skill and art forever etched upon Duluth's proud heart. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you very much. I call that... Duluth Steel Colossus. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I wrote that all night. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. Beat that. All right. I so Beat that terrible poem. I have my... That was not terrible. That's the problem. That's, <laughs> that's the issue here, Tony. It wasn't right. the words. It was the delivery. Yeah, I was... Uh, I am not... Deliver it like a... I am not giving you that kind of energy. I'm husband. sorry. All right. So here I, I have my Vikings poem. Oh, yes. I, I can't wait to hear this. That's how it starts. Oh, yeah. Gallarhorn wails a hopeful refrain. Vikings charge the field, but heart breaks the game. Oh, no. Moss soars. Culpepper throws a dream incomplete. Oh, breaking my heart away. Favre's magic fades. Oh. Another playoff defeat. Oh, Miracle fades after marching on the Saints. Fool's trickery wins. Uh, A Super Bowl, it ain't. It's the worst poem ever. <laughs> Dirty birds on the run. Time for a big kick. Uh, but a miss it was. The first Vikings disappointment for this guy named Nick. Uh, 41 donut throw across the body. The weight of all these losses weighs more and more on me. 41 donut. <laughs> Yet year after year, we come back for more. If nothing else, these tragic seasons are rarely a bore. 
really is a terrible poem. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you no, that much. was actually really good. Great, yeah. great work on that. That yeah. really, Thank you. that really encapsulated a lot. Encapsulated a lot of feelings yeah. inside of me. <laughs> um, well, we're still putting the final touches on our suggestion. Our we got, winter one yeah. that we recently had called uh, in. Yeah, uh, Holly gave us a suggestion to do a poem about uh, 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 basically a snowless winter yeah. where we get snow at the end. Yep. So I'm almost done. I got maybe one more refrain left. I'm, I'm getting close here on mine, too. So. Yeah. We, we were both told we have to write our own version of it. So Plus, I have my donkey riding poem coming ah, up. Ah, yes. Maybe we'll end the show with my donkey riding poem. <laughs> I get so many things. So many things. Um, I don't know. Never ridden a donkey before? Uh, no, I have not. Liar. <laughs> You're a donkey rider all the way. Okay. All right. Whatever you say, Tony. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's the Mix 108 morning. Mix 108 morning brew. Good morning and happy Friday. It's the uh, terrible poets department. Nick Cooper and Tony Hart. <laughs> we are. We have uh, done some pretty terrible poetry this morning. I, I think yours are pretty good. Well, yours are pretty good too. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, let's not say terrible. The, the mid poets department. Mid to <laughs> ah. mid to you know uh, you know. Yeah. Not okay. quite the best, not quite the worst. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so uh, we got a couple more poems left, I believe. Yeah. So we Maybe had we'll... a, w- one of the suggestions we got from a listener was to uh, write a poem about this, the the, win- the weird winter we had. How sure. we didn't get snow and then at the end, boom. Snow. Right. Just like that. Yep. Did you get one? I have one. You want to go first? Sure. All right. Knock All right. it out. All right. Minnesota, land of frosty dreams. Winter this year, a trick, it seems. No snow it brought, just sun and a breeze. Our favorite winter activity is impossible. Oh, geez. Ice fishing too treacherous. Snowmobiling couldn't go. All because of warm weather and a lack of snow. But when we thought spring had sprung and our non-winter had waned, a different story it was. A snow pile we gained. Then, with a laugh on winter's last gasp, A blizzard roared, a snowy clasp, a final fling, a beauty so cold. Springs whispered hopes beneath white gold. Beautiful. Thank you. I love that. Thank you so much. That's great. (laughs) Actually. (laughs) I'm impressed. Considering. Well, thank you. (laughs) All right, Tony. Got to to do mine now. Yep. Duluth folks said, what a shame. No snow drifts tall, no blizzards, no blizzard game. No sleds went swooshing down the hill. No snowmen stood white and still. Folks wore their boots for stomp and rain. Their scarves were hung in sad refrain. The ice rink turned into a pond and icicles. There were none beyond. But then one night with sky so gray, the clouds let loose was a swirling way. Down came the flakes like feathers light, and Duluth wore its coat of white. Oh. Kids tumbled out with eyes so bright, building forts in the pale moonlight. Snow angels spread across the ground, and winter late had finally found its way to Duluth, wild and free, with a snowball fight and shouts of glee. Hooray! That's it. Very nice, Tony. Very 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 nice. Thank you. So I I think we've established we are at worst the the mid poets poets department. So we can go with that. Okay. Uh, We still got my donkey. We do. You're gonna hang on to that, right? We're gonna hang on to that to the very last moment until the end. I will give you this. So we're gonna end the show today with some potentially huge boy band news. Okay, and a donkey and a donkey poem. What a combination! Wow, wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a Friday. (laughs) You have tuned in to the Morning Brew. I mean, what a Friday. A day to remember. Truly. Truly. All right. We'll get to that coming up here soon on Mix 108. Good morning. Thank you. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Friday. So recently, AJ McLean, Backstreet Boys. He's a Backstreet Boy, yeah. Did an so. interview. So no, that's not in sync, Tony. I'm sorry. But just don't 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 give up your hopes just quite yet. Okay. So he Still did an in interview. There. With Page Six, talking about a bunch of different things. Uh, one of them is apparently he's going on tour with Joey Fatone from 
in sync. Okay, all right. So there's there's one in sync tie-in, but during the course of the conversation, they had a conversation about a lot of different things. One of them was, you know, what it's been like going through the last it's been like thirty years together as a band. They, he admitted that they've gone to therapy together. And he kind of called it their first marriage as a group because mm-hmm. you know it's it's a partnership in a lot of ways and. A lot of challenges to it, but during the course of the conversation, the person that was doing the interview was asking some other questions about music and tours and things like that, because, you know, you you do that sort of thing with musicians. So the first question that was asked was, do you guys think you'll ever get together with some other boy bands, do a tour, like maybe do a 90s, 2000s boy band tour? Huge. Which would be massive if it did indeed happen. It'd be a stadium tour. It'd be a stadium tour. So here's what AJ had to say. I because mean, we. That would be the epic of all. Epic I mean, we tours. would. We would. I mean, look. If us and Insync ever toured together, that would break the planet. <laughs> we already know that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Gotta throw in new kids. Gotta throw in ninety uh, degrees. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've actually talked for years about putting together like a potential festival. We farted around with the idea of like pop the Pop Palooza tour, and really, but but taking it all over the world because there are a lot of acts like us overseas that never broke in the U.S that were there when we first started 31 years ago. Why not do something in the pop space and not just boy bands, like, <laughs> you know, female solo artists, male solo artists, all from the 90s and 2000s would be really, really fun. So like a huge, massive throwback tour. Because there's there's a smaller throwback tours. We've had some coming yeah. to the area. Those are fine. Just do, if, seriously, if they, and they, it, clearly they know this because he said that. Uh-huh. That if he, the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC went on tour, it would be a massive tour. I have a feeling it would be huge. And you don't, you wouldn't need to add if you and if you threw the new kids on there too. <laughs> I think you would be. At, we're talking stadium, summer wide. Oh yeah, huge tour, yeah. huge, big money, huge, big money, big money. So, but you got to split it so many ways. That's the problem with these boy bands. Yeah, you got to you got to split the money there. five ways. That's why yep. JT's like, I'm out. Yep, I'm gonna make my own money. So the person doing the interview asked AJ, so do you, you know, do you keep in touch with the other fellows in the band? Do you have any future plans, anything coming up? Um, and, and he made an interesting comment during the course of answering that question. We usually do like a weekly Zoom anyways, just to kind of clean house and see what's going on, what's coming up, um, you know, gearing up for what's happening next year, which I can't talk about, but... Oh. Mm. Really, really, big? really big, big things. So big, we, big, you know, we're big, talking about all those things big, now. Big. And so, yeah, you know, it's just. Could it be a potential tour? Uh, uh, I, don't, I, I don't really know. Can't say it. I don't really know. But, uh, know that something but yeah, is coming. something is coming. Something wicked this way comes. He knows something. So something is coming. We don't know what it is. He no, knows they, what it is. Now Backstreet Boys has toured. They've been touring. Yeah, they, but so yeah. Sync hasn't no. toured in years. No, they they did the couple songs. They did the Troll JT, song right? and the, yeah. yeah, and they did uh, the the other song with him. But so they would have to be the headliner, probably just because they haven't toured of forever. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. would go back. So you would go, New Kids on the Block, Backstreet Boys. In sync as with the headliner. JT. Yeah. Probably. Huge. Yep. Huge tour. So, very interesting. I'd we, go to that. We don't know what it is, but there's something a brew. I might even frost my tips for that show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I, 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 now I'm hoping it happens just and for that purpose. And bust out the hammer pants. <laughs> Clashing styles there a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right, Tony. What? Today's is it time? Ba- oh, is it time? Today's band. Give me some music. Give me some, uh, okay. give me like your uh, Nick's Nonsense bed. Can uh, you give me that? Well, I ha- so I have, I have this Just one. Give me, give me some of the little, little donkey riding. You know, Donkey was, riding? Yeah, something a little donkey, like you're riding a donkey. All right, hold on. You know what that sounds like. Riding a donkey. What do you got for me? I need some donkey riding. Oh, okay, this is, okay, this is, yeah, this feels like I'm riding a donkey. Yeah. Donkey riding, donkey riding. <laughs> All right. Donkey riding, donkey riding. Okay, here's my final poem of the day for the terrible poets department that Nick and I are a part of. Founding members of. Yes. Um, Here we go. This is more of a kind of a modern poem, if you will. I wanted to throw some modernisms in it. Okay. Not so Shakespearean, if you will. This is called Nick and his donkey. (laughs) Ah! Oh, boy. (laughs) 
In downtown Duluth, there's a dude named Nick. His antics and swagger are really quite sick. <laughs> He's like, yo, check it. I got a wild plan. Gonna ride a donkey. Gonna be the man. <laughs> so off he rolls with the donkey in tow. Do- Duluth streets putting on a sh- through Duluth streets putting on a show <laughs> with beats bumping and vibes so chill. Nick and his donkey keeping it real. Yeah. From the shores of Superior to the urban scene, Nick's donkey ride is like a dream. <laughs> Cars beeping, folks laughing. It's quite a sight. Sight. Nick on his donkey. <laughs> Bringing delights. <laughs> the donkey's like, hey, let's do this thing. While Nick's like, yeah, man, let's make it swing. <laughs> so if you're cruising through Duluth's downtown scene, look for Nick and his donkey living the dream. Boom. The terrible poets department. That Folks. was the worst one of the morning. So that was a great. <laughs> that was the worst one <laughs> of the was, morning. <laughs> that was. You you definitely showed a, a a variety of styles through the course of the day. Gonna Tony. ride a donkey, be the man. That's my <laughs> favorite line I wrote oh, all morning. I am so proud of you, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. And I know we've got we had we had some people that actually. Called us up afterward, you know, saying thank you for doing such good justice with the idea that I gave I you. I love so. that we're getting praise for yes. our poems. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. The the again the mid poets department. Uh, we'll we'll kick off your workday. 108 uh, minutes commercial free, fueled by Quick Trip. Starting off with your next code and our 30 grand in your hand giveaway here at Mix It Away. Good morning.